caught on the very first day of the trade fair. This I understand. You told me yes, three, four times. Yes. Yes. So sorry, sir, but yes. I have to, to, to I say it. I understand. Because you are not. Businessman uh, Pawan Kansal is accused of selling products with pirated designs. Now he has to pay a fine because of these bowls. Their design, a polished top and matte bottom, has been patented by German manufacturer Rösler. No other company is allowed to sell such bowls in Europe. Federal prosecutors have arrived, compelling Kansal to pay the fine. But he starts haggling. One is to, they are asking for 1,500 euros. Yes. And, uh, I want one request is this to reduce no, the money. We don't discuss about it. I, I can request. To he remains stubborn. He has violated patent laws that protect copyrighted designs. Last year he was caught in a similar infringement case. The bowls are confiscated. Their sale is banned. We must have some information from the company. Mostly only the Rosley company is doing this. And this is again and again happening. Uh, and uh, we are asking for the information what products they want to protect. In the end, Pawan Kansal pays the fine of 1,500 euros, even though he isn't aware of any wrongdoing. Customs officers regularly check German fairs like the Ambiente trade show in Frankfurt. Most pirated products are found at the Chinese stands. Some 80% of the merchants who offer copied products come from China. Now there is an argument over these frying pan handles. They are indistinguishable from the Italian original. There is some confusion. Some, In this case, an employee from the Italian maker called the customs officers. Often companies who have become victims of piracy tip off the authorities. Some uh, companies, it's the first time, probably they don't know, so we must trust them. Some instead are the second or third time. So the first time is just we inform them not to do so. Uh, we invite them to come to our booth. We also exhibit here where they can see all our original products. We try to get uh, like a commercial relationship with them. And uh, sometimes it works, sometimes some of them do become our client. Usually companies caught pirating products try to drag things out, hoping the customs officers will leave. But in the end, they do pay. First-time offenders are fined 500 euros. Usually, this is preceded by endless excuses. They'll say they didn't know or that it was unintentional or that their products are copyrighted in China and therefore protected in Europe, which is untrue. These are all quote-unquote defensive lies. But there's no denying these things, even though we're often involved in discussions, no matter how futile the case. The frying pan handles are popular knockoff items. Again, a Chinese manufacturer is the culprit. Since the Italian maker began producing in China, cases of product piracy have become more common at fairs. How big is the problem when we talk very about COVID? Very, very big. We invest a lot of money in uh, patenting our products. All our handles, side handles, knobs are patented. And it's, a very, it's very expensive for us, but it's involved our design, our know-how, our technology. Uh, and it's not nice to find copies because someone just wanted them to replicate them. Pirating products seems to pay off. Because imposed fines are usually so low that they don't deter piracy. Yes, that's possible. I won't deny this. But at the same time, this isn't exactly a grave crime. In seven hours, the customs officers discovered 10 cases of product piracy at the fair. Every time, fines were imposed and goods confiscated. <laughs>